Is there really a difference between machine tufted rugs and woven area rugs? Well, let's find out. Remember to take notes. What we're trying to attempt to do is explain to you the difference between what's called tufted versus woven rugs. These two here are examples of tufted rugs. These two small rugs here are hand woven rugs. These rugs in front of me, sometimes they machine gun rugs they're called or hand tufted rugs, but don't be fooled by the, by the words because they are not constructed anywhere near the way that these two are. What happens is these are gunned with a reciprocating machine that puts these face yarns through the back of a foundation that's usually on some kind of a wooden frame. And then they trim it to make it look good depending on, you know, on the design, of course. This is more contemporary, this is more traditional design. The key, what as people who clean rugs, both of these type of rugs, the key is are they both as cleanable or repairable if something happens to some one of the rugs? The answer is no, and it's not even close. This scrim material you see on the back of these two rugs is attached with a thick layer of latex glue. There is no adhesive on these hand knotted rugs. These two rugs here, you can tell by the fact, one of the ways you can tell is the, the fringe is actually part of the back of the rug. And, it, and these, these colors here, these wool colors are knotted through each one individually. And that's the same on both this rug. You can see how the design is the same on the back as it is on the front. Same with this telltale sign of a woven product. This rug is very cleanable and will last years and years and years. These are not. This particular tufted rug happens to be one from the retail pottery barn. When we see this color of scrim, the back is usually referred to as scrim, the odor from the latex is a giveaway when we see this. It doesn't even need to be cleaned or contaminated, sometimes with pet urine. The latex was so poor that when we see a rug like this, we do not flood wash it. A good rug like the knotted ones, you can flood wash if it's got pet stains, mold, mildew, some kind of contamination, you can flush the detergents that are necessary to remove that from the rug completely. Over here, on this tufted piece, if there were a pet accident here, for example, and you were to flush enzymes and other detergents through here, it has to get this latex wet, which increases its the chances that it's gonna smell really, really bad, even worse than it does now. And this smells and it's never been washed. Um, also, this latex, many, many times, is water soluble. What that means is when you flood wash one of these rugs, you can see the liquefied latex running off of the rug into the drains here at the shop. That's got two problems. One, this comes detached, this screen material detaches from the back of the rug, making it weaker. It won't last as long, but also just as important, maybe more important, that latex, as it dries, as if you flood wash this rug, as the moisture is removed from the rug, it draws up or wicks up that liquefied latex. And the moisture, the water vapor, will eventually dissipate into machines like this, a dehumidifier. But the latex itself will stay on top and it can look a pale yellow brownish color on the face which is the front of either one of these two type of rugs that's a bad sign it's not always removable if that happens and it can be a lot of time effort and money to correct so these cheaper rugs generally are not what you want to go with we see a lot of them so for example this one came in without any major issues but it's been stored in someone's attic for a couple of years and it's never been walked on. It came from a retailer automatically in the attic. So it has sort of a, a lived in um, musty smell. And I told the customer we could flood wash it, but this might come upon. And he chose to have a surface cleaning only, which means we're going to clean from the base of the fiber to the top of this face fiber several times to try to bring that odor up. But we're not going to flood wash at all. It's too risky. This piece, even if the customer wanted us to flood wash this, which of course they don't, but let's say there was a big stain in it that had to be flushed through, we would probably refuse to do it. Only because 
it's not going to help them. The odor probably won't go. Once you wet this pottery barn rug, these older, this is probably a 10 year old rug. Um, once you wet that, the smell usually will never go away. It's this very sour smell that the rug picks up. I can smell it already here and the rug hasn't even been washed. And again, these, area, these woven rugs, very cleanable. You test for color fastness before you clean, but they're very cleanable. They're almost bulletproof and will last for years and years, even in a heavily used area. Let's, let's say this was in your kitchen, your home. You can drop food on it, you send it out once, or once every year or two to, have, to be professionally cleaned, you won't have a problem. We're gonna check out one more type of rug right now. This rug is also generally considered a tufted rug, meaning the, the fibers that you see, these face fibers, these top fibers, have been pushed through a backing material but with a machine. Um, we consider it more of a broad loom tufted rug than the pottery barn and the other um, machine gunned or hand tufted rug that you saw in the clip before. And we like these rugs because they are, we, um, they are created with, um, with more tolerances, better tolerances during the manufacturing process. They're physically a stiff rug. The latex tends to be better than what you see um, on the other two rugs. And on a rug like this, we feel confident that we can flood wash this. This came to us because as you can see, right over in this section, that's all cat vomit. Some, the pet cat got sick, we're gonna clean it, we're gonna flood wash it to sanitize it. It is necessary to flood wash this because that vomit from our inspection has gone right through the carpet into the backing. And so to really sanitize it, to make it clean and safe to go home, it really should be flood washed. Now the videos below in the description below um, show you a couple of videos each of tufted and woven rugs, the manufacturing process. You'll see the time and effort that goes into a woven piece versus a hand tufted piece. And you'll see all the latex being put on a rug like you saw in the last clip. And that's where the problems come in. We welcome your input, your comments, questions if you have any, um, specifically um, any questions about the longevity or how to repair or clean these type of rugs. We'll, we'll put um, how-to videos in the description below. Hopefully you find that helpful. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell. You'll be notified next time um, we upload a video. Thank you.